sources coming in from a number one tier journalist jacobs ben on williams haliba new contract negotiations are indicating that they are really complex it's complicated but arsenal is doing all what it takes to convince the 22 year old french international to put pen to paper welcome to rockani media football how are you guys and where you're watching us from it's the arsenal news show we are talking strictly arsenal nothing else apart from arsenal and this is the i think today is third today is fourth right today is fourth it's the fourth of june and we're here to bring you the latest news and information as far as your arsenal stars are really concerned martin odegaard another one that is so much sold on to move to stay to arsenal and arsenal are really sure that the new deal is going to be really completed between them and martin odegaard secondly arsenal have gone ahead to really tell psg back of our captain martin odegaard and for sale remember there is a story i ran like two three days back when PSG, we are going in for Martin Odegaard. Lastly, Grant Xhaka has already said his goodbyes to the staff of Arsenal. That really shows us that he's soon climaxing his Arsenal exit very, very, very soon. Now, let's see close to 200 likes, smash the video, and obviously, let's rough it, rumble, and just straight into this mix of statements that have been put out by jacobs ben as you see on your screen jacobs ben has gone ahead and really put out and really put out <coughs> a statement via gimme sport and he said the following that arsenal have no intent to lose william saliba <laughs> they will do everything in their power to keep him i still sense in the end this one will get done but it but but it just is a bit more complicated but it's just a bit more complicated than the other arsenal deals that they're gonna hate to get out of the line which other arsenal deals are you talking about the deal of gabriel magales william <coughs> sorry the deal of the deal of william magale sorry the the deal of gabriel magales martinelli Aaron Ramsdale, those three deals have been easy for them to sit to Italy they really get them out of the way. But that of William Saliba has gone ahead to really cause a lot of complications in the negotiation department of Arsenal. And I think Saliba was really keen on how much Bokayo Saka is going to be given because he really prolonged agreeing the new deal that Arsenal had given him because he wanted to see how much is Gabriel Magal is going to be given, you know? How much is um, Martinelli going to be given, right? Uh, how much is Aaron Ramsdale going to be given as an increment after the new salary you get? So, I think after him going to know all that, he found himself in a position of really knowing, oh, you've gone, you've gone ahead to give... Martinelli close to 190,000 pounds. You've gonna have to give Gabriel Magales 130,000 pounds a week. William, Sa sorry, Bokayo Saka 290,000 pounds a week. Aaron Ramsdale 120,000 pounds a week. And you want to give me only 120,000 pounds a week? I'm not going to do that. I feel I'm one of the best defenders in the world. I deserve much more, and you guys need to give me more. So, I think. Let's understand the situation of William Saliba. I've had attacks coming in from Arsenal fans every time I'm doing a story of William Saliba and understanding his contract situation. I'm supporting William Saliba. Guys, do you think William Saliba should be earning below what Gabriel Magales earns? Let's be really, really, really realistic. You are giving William Saliba a contract of £120,000 a week. And you are paying Gabriel Magales £130,000 a week. That's lack of respect for that young man. Because he has shown us how much he has gone ahead to better the Arsenal central defence. Every time they are playing with William Saliba, they play well from the back because he's really press resistant. He's a good pass of the ball. You understand? He isn't even a good dribbler. You know, he can get the ball and even <clears throat> move long distances with the ball. So... This is the man that has gone ahead to even score goals for Arsenal. I think he has like three goals for Arsenal this season. 
he has helped Arsenal keep clean sheets. He's fast. He's a defender that you would love to be playing into your Sonto defense on any day, you know? But Arsenal have gone ahead to show him that they are really so disrespectful by giving him a salary below that of Gabriel Magalhães. Guys, let's get Martinelli out of the way. Let's get Bukayosaka out of the way. We are talking Gabriel Magalhães. How does William Saliba find himself earning 10,000 grand below Gabriel Magalhães? That is really insanity. It's abysmal and it is something that I call diabolical. Even in the weirdest thoughts of this world, it cannot cross my mind. Can't it cross your mind? Let it sink into your mind why, Bukai, why William Saliba is making it hard to sign or put pen, pen, pen to paper onto this contract. It's all simple. It's all about the match that they are giving him because this is, this is underlooking the man. It's underlooking the player. That's it. He should be earning close to £200,000 a week plus. That's it. I think if I told Arsenal table such a deal, Saliba will really put pen to paper. But Jacobs Ben is telling us that Arsenal will get this <clears throat> out of the way. I understand they will really get out of the way and obviously settle it with William Saliba because if you sell William Saliba right now, you're going to get like £60 million. You give him a salary he wants, he plays one more season for Arsenal, you can get close to £100 million from William Saliba. That's it. And if at all Arsenal gets in another right-sided centre-back that goes ahead to fit well into the team, they can sell Saliba at £100 million and use that money they've gotten from Saliba to really get in another right-back that is really decent at like £40 million or 50 Then, they use the other to get in other players. But... If you are a top, if you are a top team like Arsenal, and you are vying to go ahead and really battle it out with City, you don't allow to lose a top class player. You don't allow to lose a top class player. Arsenal has to do everything in their reach to keep this man. And the player we're talking about has left London, and uh, he has travelled to Cameroon, and uh, he was spotted. William Saliba was spotted yesterday at Amsterdam Airport following his trip to Cameroon. He met with his representatives of Cameroon FA where he met notable figures like Samuel Eto and learned more about the Cameroon football. This follows the exclusive we covered. So, William Saliba was spotted yesterday at Amsterdam Airport following his trip to Cameroon. So, looks like he is in Cameroon and is going to spend his summer that side. That is William Saliba for you and that is how they spotted William Saliba at the Amsterdam airport as he really headed to Cameroon. So for him, he has left everything to his representatives and Entrage to discuss with Arsenal. Arsenal need to show the urge that they need William Saliba. And uh, a month from now, he's going to be back. He's going to be back because one will ask me, but what of his back injury? The back injury is all about resting, as I've told you always. It's about him getting enough rest. And if at all he gets ample rest, this back injury will really come out of that. The body of William Saliba. And Saliba is going to return for the preseason a very fit man. So let's wait and see how Arsenal undergoes the situation of William Saliba. Because it looks like it has gone ahead into a complex mod that's it now there is another player that arsenal loves the captain of arsenal obviously a story was ran here on rock and media football that psg are interested into martin odegaard right now simon collins the arsenal correspondent for the evening standard has thrown in the best news that all arsenal fans will ever want to hear he has said Arsenal will not entertain any Odegaard offers. He's happy at Arsenal. He enjoys an excellent relationship with Mikel Tater. The 24-year-old is also settled in London so much that he's spending the first part of his summer break there before heading back to see his family in Norway. That is Martin Odegaard for you. So, PSG came in through and obviously made a very huge offer. They wanted to sign Martin Odegaard. But Martin Odegaard wants to stay at Arsenal even 
he has a very good relationship with Mikela Teta. No player at the age of Martin Odegaard can leave the best league in the world to go all out and play in the Farmers League. That no recognition is going to be given to you as a player. That's why the likes of Neymar have just realized right now that they made huge mistakes going that side that affected their career. You know, it's really going to be so much <clears throat> unbelievable in the game of football that Neymar hasn't won a Ballon d'Or. Apart from stepping on the podium several times, he has not found himself in a position of really winning the Ballon d'Or. That is Neymar Jr. for you. And uh, such mistakes are what these other young players are really learning from and as they learn from them they know if i told you again to psg you need to be in your maybe early 30s that's it but if you are at your prime like martin odegaard 24 years that's your prime you can't come out and really leave a team that's gonna hate to give you the captaincy a team that has given you a chance to expose your goodies onto the world market You're gonna hate to score 15 goals this season eight assists wanting more the manager trusts in you then you live like that so Odegaard wants to stay at Arsenal and PSG are not going to get this player so as Arsenal plan to keep the player Fabrizio Romano has thrown in something concerning the contract extension and obviously improving his wages that he earns weekly Fabrizio Romano via the court of side podcast a new round of talks are planned between the club and Martin Odegaard's representatives concerning a new deal for Arsenal captain. There is no rush as the player is very happy in London and both parties are keen to reach an agreement before this year comes to an end. That is exactly what Fabrizio Romano is going to head to drop in as far as Martin Odegaard is concerned. Odegaard is sold on a move to stay at Arsenal. He wants to keep at Arsenal and he doesn't see himself going anywhere because he believes that this is the best place for him to be and a round of talks has been planned by the club and the representatives of Martin Odegaard to say to it that he gets a salary increment and then he yet adds more years onto his contract remember he was signed on a permanent deal in the summer of 2021 this has been his second full season at arsenal and he has really added a lot onto what he offered in his first season of 2021-2022 so martin odegaard is a very good player that has gonna hate to turn things around at arsenal he sees himself as a lifetime player for arsenal and when you look at arsenal trying to keep its cream de la cream of players they've gonna hate to get it right on martin odegaard ramsdale gabriel martinelli gabriel magales now odegaard you know the huge question mark is on to william saliba and i think they'll get saliba the amount of money that he wants that's it they're going to get saliba the amount of money that he wants he's not going to take that offer of 120,000 pounds he's not he has rejected it not in a bad heart he loves to stay at arsenal but he believes respect should be commanded on either side so for martin odegaard it's very great to keep him and we can't anticipate to see who martin odegaard is going to be playing with in the midfield next season it is going to be Caicedo, declan rice and martin odegaard is it going to be zubumendi declan rice and martin odegaard is it going to be Partey, declan rice and martin odegaard god knows because this other man that has been that has been completing their trio has gonna hate to say his goodbyes to the staff of arsenal and that is none other than granite Xhaka. so the mirror football have confirmed to us that Xhaka said his goodbyes to the staff after arsenal's final game of the season against the wall against the wolves at the emirates on sunday Xhaka is set to join Bayern Leverkusen after the Bundesliga club offered him a lengthy contract. That is Granite Xhaka for you. And we all know how much he's going to hate to be transformed into a player this season by Mikel Ateta. That's why he saw to it that when he scored his second goal, he ran to Mikel Ateta <coughs> and obviously gave him a hug. Why? He knows exactly the work that Mikel Ateta is going to hate to put in him to make him a player score all those goals that he had to score this season in the premier league alone Xhaka found himself scoring seven goals in the premier league that's it his best ever since his arrival at arsenal 
7 goals and 7 assists in the Premier League. Those are 14 goal involvements. Um, 2 goals in the UEFA Europa League. Those are 9. So, it shows you that he had close to 16 goal involvements. So, he has already said his bye-byes with the staff of Arsenal and he's going to join Bayern Leverkusen. Amid is Bayern Munich trying to come in through and obviously hijack the deal. But it looks like he's already sold on the move to play for Bayern Leverkusen. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Tell me your thoughts about Saliba. New contract negotiation. Complex. You know, they are complicated. They are complicated. And Arsenal assure that they'll get over the line. Martin Odegaard. Arsenal is saying Odegaard is not for sale. And they are in talks to offer him a new contract. Are you in unison? with Arsenal onto that point and lastly Xhaka saying his goodbyes to the staff of Arsenal another confirmation that he's leaving this London best club so good morning guys thank you for watching through I think we are really going to be having a marathon and we can't wait to see to it that more stories are really jetting in left right and center so thank you guys for watching through rock and david remains my name i sign out for now see you later and i cover you all in the precious blood of jesus christ may the lord god lead you to church well and those that are going to pray from home obviously god is omniscious don't forget to say a prayer because a prayer doesn't live and if you're muslim pray to allah i'm out